Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Hey, Tea Sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I am here in the ATL. We have a big weekend coming up, but we still decided to come through and bless y'all with a podcast. I got my homegirl, Emily, in the building. Yes. Hey, everybody. Man, it is so much mess going on right now on social media. Mm -hmm. Girl, and I'm in Atlanta, so I'm like calling everybody like, I need the background. I need the extra tea with what is going on right now with Spice. Erica Mena, Amara La Negra, and Safari. Um, it's a mess. So let me go ahead and kind of break it down for y'all who don't know. Um, Amara La Negra initially was dating Shay's brother, MJ, correct? Yeah. And so they were dating, and then all of a sudden, a new season came on, and Amara La Negra was dating some Dominican man. Cute. Don't get me wrong. You were cute. cute. <laughs> but we're like, okay, where did the Dominican man come from? Because you was with MJ. Then we find out that basically she cheated on MJ with the Dominican man. And, you know, that was her new boo. So that was like the whole storyline for Shay and MJ. They were attacking Amara, calling all types of whores, you know, all that, you know, ratchet stuff. Yeah. And then they finally made up on the uh, Love and Hip Hop reunion show. And so anyhow, then we find out that her and the baby daddy, because she had twin daughters, beautiful little girls. Her and the baby daddy, the Dominican man, they end up breaking up. But I kind of felt like it wasn't going to work because he didn't even go to her baby shower. He didn't even go to the, like the gender reveal. He was like, he always stayed in the Dominican Republic. He was never mm. willing to come down to Florida. I think he made it to the birth, but child, I don't even remember. Yeah, that's a mess. A straight mess. So now we find out they broke up. So I was watching the Love and Hip Hop reunion. It's like this castaway show right where they like send them all to jamaica you know all expense paid so it was like spice um amara la negra she was one of the hosts it was carly uh, carly red um chaotic was there was a bunch of them right and they're Mm -hmm. all at this resort and so safari came a few days late and i remember safari coming and basically he had smashed damn near all the girls there damn safari yeah, big dick safari girl. <laughs> he, he, has, he basically smashed everyone. But then it was like Amara kept getting mad. She was like, don't put me in that category. Me and him was just friends. We never did anything. And I'm like, why is she popping off so hard? Like nobody really even said anything about you and safari. And she just kept like going off anytime people would bring up like, you know, did you and safari date? Because they had hosted the BT, like some BT awards thing together, right? Like, mm-hmm. you know, how they're like outside the BET Awards hosting like the red carpet. They had did like a little performance together. So people were kind of tying them together. And she was like, no, I never dated him. We're not together. Like she was like getting pissed. So I'm like, OK, whatever. Then we fast forward like a month later, the show ends. And now all of a sudden Safari and Amara are at the kids' birthday party. She threw a birthday party for her twins. And Safari's there, and he she's teaching him how to salsa dance, and oh, you hell. know, he done bought the kids Rolex watches. I'm like, well, what the <laughs> fuck? What? This is nuts. No, seriously. Can I get? Where's my Rolex? That's so sweet. No, and seriously. You know, I'm doing this because I'm new to Miami, and you know, ever since I've been here, Amada has been a great, you know, everything friend, tour guide. <laughs> Helping me with my Spanish, and she's just been, you know, business partner. Yes, great business partner, great with the future endeavors. I even left the comment in the shade room because I was so confused. Like, I thought you weren't even trying to be associated with him. How is this not your boyfriend? Storyline. Really? Yeah, a straight up mess. So, ever since then, like, Erica Mena has been going off. So, she had wrote like this huge, like, this lengthy ass post where she was like basically going off. Um, Let me see what she wrote here. Um, Get your mother goose glasses. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) 
Okay. Long story short, Erica basically wrote a whole diatribe on social media like she always does. And she accused Safari of not being there for his children because, you know, she has two kids with Safari mm -hmm. and says that it's very interesting that Safari has money to lavish on gifts for Marla Negra's children who are not Safaris. But when it comes to taking care of his own children, like paying the children's, you know, health insurance per their court order, you know, buying them lavish gifts, Safari doesn't do that. She said that Safari literally gave their daughter a birthday card and a kiss and called it a day. Meanwhile, uh -huh. Marla Negra's twins, who just turned one, who can't even tell time, are rocking Rolex watches. I don't even got no damn Rolex. Yeah, that's ridiculous. That's so silly. It's a waste of money. I mean, get your kids what you want, but I do find that interesting that he only got his kid a birthday card, but then, you know, got them watches. Like you said, they don't even know how to tell time. Hell, a lot of people don't know how to read. Um, what type of clocks are those? I don't know what to call them. Huh. I know how to read them, but I don't know what they're called. Like a non-digital clock. Yeah, a lot of kids do not know how to read like Norman Romanos and them type of clocks anymore. If it's not digital, they don't know the big hand versus the little hand. So yeah, and I'm sure they're gonna be growing up in an age where it's even more advanced, where literally you look at your watch and it just whispers you the time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Over the clock. Yeah. What you about to get into? That's probably gonna be their future <laughs> by the time they're 20. You know, probably, so yeah. yeah, I just think he was trying to stunt and front. You know, um, it sounds like he was trying to piss Erica off, too. Yeah, I definitely believe that. And so a lot of people were dragging Amara La Negra. And so she took to social media and she said the following. I'm a good mother and I will always do whatever I have to do by any means to provide my children and be to provide for my children and be there for them. The world can judge me, criticize me and do as they please. But my babies will always be my priority. I changed because of them. You haven't met the new version of me yet. Then she says, I used to rush to defend myself against false allegations, but now I watch to see who believes it so I know who to cut off first. When you're winning, you keep your mouth shut. That is law. So that was like her low-key response to Erica Mena after Erica Mena like kind of went off on her. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think, like I always say, there's like really no real sisterhood amongst women and wow. it's sad like you hear all this shit like you know you know women should stick together and we're all sisters and we gotta you know hold each other down but i just feel like it's not there and i think it's sad that when women watch other women be you know treated badly by their boyfriend or husband baby daddy whatever you watch them treat the next woman like trash and then somehow you think that that's a sign that he's going to treat you better. We watched this play out with Krishan and Jaden Alexis. Mm hmm. Yep. And that is very common, it seems, uh, amongst women, rather. It's, I mean, I don't know. I'm sure her and Erica weren't close. So I don't know if like there's any girl code there, but she saw, like, I think the whole world saw, at least for most of the you know, people who watch, he did Erica pretty dirty. Like, I can't get out of my head him telling her she needs to lose weight because she done got too big from having that baby. Like that would have just sent me over the edge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that was foul. I mean, he, he did, and he definitely didn't want that second child, you know, and that whole storyline for that second child, him acting like he doesn't know that she's five months pregnant was just insane. And I get it that Amar doesn't have any loyalty necessarily to Erica Mena and she's grown. She can date who she wants to date. But what I don't want to see is a year from now, because, you know, everything's sweet in the honeymoon phase when these dudes are love bombing mm -hmm. you, you, and, you know, eating the cooch right. Um, <laughs> okay? So I don't want to hear shit a year from now when he starts giving you the ain't shit treatment, when he, he plays the same games with you that he played with Erica and other women before her. You know, that's my issue is that when everything's sweet, it's all this lovey-dovey stuff. I don't want to hear nothing a year later. That's why with even the Krishan situation, I really don't care because when you guys were having fun dogging out Jade and Alexis, it was all, you know, key key. But now that he's showing you, you know, the same disrespect that he gave his baby's mother, why would you expect him to treat you any different? Right. And Safari, if I remember correctly, he was in love with Erica. Like he, he loved her dirty drawers. Like he was so in love with her. She hung the moon. Like, I don't know if he was just putting on for TV or what, but around the beginning stage, 
he was, you know, head over heels. He was dancing when they got their house and it was, you know, all, all good. And then, like you said, fast forward, he did a bunch of foul shit. So like you said, I don't want to hear uh, any tattoo tears further down the road when the same cycle repeats itself. And, you know, girl, you don't sing this. Everybody doesn't sing this. Right. And this is not to like, you know, a pity party for Erica because Erica has done her dirt, too. Let's mm -hmm. not forget she, too, was sleeping with a married man, a.k.a. Yep. A DJ Envy. Yeah. Nobody about to forget that one. <laughs> yeah. I mean, went to the radio station and blasted him where he had to come out and admit it to the world. So she's had no problem playing the side chick either. That's why when she was doing all this crying about Safari again, I feel no ways. Because you guys know these type of men and you guys still choose to fight women over them and, you know, throw these relationships in people's faces. And then when you're on the receiving end, now you get to play victim. No. Imagine what Gia went through when you were playing side chick. Mm -hmm. And then found out, you know, with the rest. Well, she probably already knew. But, you know, to go. It's one thing like you find out you're going through that hurt and then, you know you go and you blast and you announce it to everybody. And now everybody knows all your business that now you're having to go through all that hurt and embarrassment again on like a way larger scale. Yeah. So now that was the backstory. So let's bring y'all to what's going down today. So what happened today is that out of nowhere, Spice just started snapping on social media and I follow Spice um, you know, I've met her a few times. She's really cool. So I was shocked because I'm like, well, what the hell is going on? Because I knew they were taping today down here in Atlanta. And so all of a sudden, Spice pops up and she writes this on social media. I'm going to share my screen. So Spice says, big pussy, Erica, you trying to blame everyone. <laughs> not, my, not the Jamaican accent, honey. <laughs> big pussy. <laughs> I'm writing big pussy. Uh-uh. She says, big pussy, Erica, you trying to blame everyone for what Safari doing to you, but you can't blame your damn self. Bitch, you lose them how you get them. Go suck your mother. Safari is your karma. <laughs> that was, yeah, I was about to say, that was a really good accent. <laughs> right. Okay. All right, go TT. That's then right. Then she goes on to say, <laughs> you flipping tables, you trying to get the scene is weak as fuck. You a scared motherfucker. You couldn't even talk to me because you know I got all the little dark secrets. Hashtag Erica Mena, you jealous of me so bad, Bia. You fake as fuck. Guess what? You still going to eat your heart out because it's still Bambi season. Whore not yours. <laughs> <laughs> I killed it. Shout out to my Jamaicans with the That's blood right. <laughs> <laughs> You know, I love my Jamaican tea sippers, honey. I'm my Caribbean tea sippers. They be okay. coming too. I yeah, love when you they did that. In. You ate that. <laughs> But Spice went off. I'm like, what in the world is going on here in the ATL? Like, oh my gosh. What is Bambi season? Did I, is she talking about Bambi on the show? or That's what I was thinking. But then some of the Caribbean people in the comment section are saying something that is some type of saying maybe out there. Like the uh, hooves are out is uh, what okay. one Caribbean person said on the shade room. But I don't know, child. Well, let uh, me start using that phrase then. <laughs> Bambi season. Bambi We're going to fight like two deers in the forest. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, um, yeah, she's not here for whatever Erica, I guess Erica tried to pull a Teresa Judice, honey, and flip the table over uh -oh. and Spice went off. You remember when Teresa Judice? Oh, that yes, that's iconic. I was just talking about that the other day. You whore! You whore! <laughs> Whore, engage 19 times. <laughs> I'm like, why is she so angry about somebody being engaged 19 times? Mind your oh, business, no. Teresa. Well, Teresa lost it, honey. <laughs> I mean, like, that's the part that pissed her off. She was like, engage 19 times and flip the table over. That she was did. iconic. If Erica didn't bring that Teresa Judice energy, I don't want to watch it. Yeah, no. And also, I don't know who all was sitting around. I, well, I think I can remember who was sitting around the table with Teresa, but they wasn't Spice. Spice liable to get up and smack your ass. She ain't going to have you flip no table over on her. Right, right. 
So yeah, this whole situation is even crazier. So recently, about an hour ago, Spice um, basically got online and went off. She's speaking a lot of Patois, so I don't know if we will be able to understand her like that, but we gonna try, okay? okay. So let me go ahead and pull that up here. So I don't want people to say I'm picking up for Safari because it has nothing to do with me picking up for Safari. I am just speaking facts to the face, something where some people can't do, and that, that caused the fiction, and that's that the problem because some girls fake and them don't want me to tell them the truth to them face. Erica, go look for your gynecologist. Go look for your gynecologist. Infection and yam you out. Your pussy is full of syphilis. You have lymphogranuloma vulgaris. Girl, don't play with me. Go get some canistin. Don't play with me, Erica. I'm not stay on this too long either. I just want to talk my mind and tell Erica, say, remember me tell her, every time I see her, you better be prepared to flip over the table because me is not the one to play with. I'm in a fake story and I'm in a fakeness. Everything about me is 100% real. 100%. And you, you're going to do this for get storyline, but remember me tell her, say, the wrong story you pick up, baby. And the wrong story you want. You never want that story. Yeah. You should have never pick up that story. Yeah. You see Bambi of the season? This season, leave her with it. Don't try flipping the script. You hear me I tell you? Better leave her with it and call it a day. Because you need some canistin. I don't know where you come act like say. But this not have nothing to do with me. I don't care about my for business about safari. I don't care about what you want him to have going on or where you go through. And I don't want nobody come say, I pick me, I pick up the safari. No, I have my own issues and my own problem. I nearly dead. I still have my issues and my problem I deal with. Y'all walk up play victim here in the scene, y'all ball out. Me and me a single mother. Bitch, I'm one, two. I am one, two. 14 years. And guess what? Me pick up myself and do what me have to do. And you have to do the same. That me, that me, that me never sit down and tell you, you know, Erica, pick your pussy up off of the ground. <laughs> Catch a break. Let me breathe. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Ooh. Erica, pick up your pussy off of the ground and keep it moving. It's not the end of the road, baby. It's not the end of life. We all, people married and them get divorced. People do relationship, then break up. Me break up with my relationship. I'm in and dead. I'm breathing. Look at me. I'm alive. It's okay. You can get over it. It's fine. People divorce all the time. What the fuck you have to be a victim and act like you want me to take it up on my head? Bitch, me not take it up on my head. Safari, I fuck Amara. Or them there with Amara. Or me not know him want Amara. Not my problem. What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with me? Your vex are come talk about. Don't talk about my son. Don't talk about my son. Yes, we're going to talk about it. Since you say you're a single mother, me I tell you, say, me a single mother for 14 years. And you're going to say, oh, but I'm a single mother for how much years? I don't know how old your son is. So I say, where is he? Because I'm not like you. Where your son? Where your oldest son? Because you act like a two kids. You have the same energy. Where you have for your two kids? You need to have the same energy for three. So we are asking you the question and we wait for the answer. Where is your oldest son? Why you not have the same energy for your third child? What? Mm -hmm. That may I ask you, you come talk. Like, say, you think my friend will tell it to your face. I want to you. Bitch, you think my friend that you, I'm not the blood clot storyline, I'm not the fake story. So it's on for me. So I'm still going to talk to you, come turn over blood clot table because you want to have a one up. You want to have storyline. You want to feel like you're big, bitch. Oi, go. Oi, go. You can't talk in my face. Come talk in my face. Let me hear what your office say. Talk in my face. Can't have no secret about me. If you want a gynecologist number, you can get it. Since as it come like your age, can it still sell, can it still sell over the counter? Fuck wrong with you. You come talk. The one that woman left with, everybody, people get born all the time. Wake up and taste the blood clot coffee. It's not the end of the day. You walk a ball down the place and come on my fucking girl a ball and I scream in the hallway and I come talk about safari like every day somebody wants to talk about safari. Every day of the safari, the safari, this I don't give a fuck about safari dick. When you did a fuck your friend, man, you never did a think about him dick. Bitch, fucking play with me. I'm calm down in the people them airports. So when I stop talking about me, I pick up for safari because it's not about picking up for safari. It's about speaking facts and call a spade a spade and talking the truth the same way all my seat. I'm done talk my truth already, bitch. You're not the you're not the first woman. You're not gonna be the last, bitch. And I can tell you to your face and me ask you and me say, where your oldest son there? Where I'm there? Where I'm there? And that me ask you, where I'm there? Hi. 
I see some people, let me make sure I take a deep breath because you don't know I'm still ready. I see the media talk about saying, oh, this is a storyline. I'm not the storyline. I'm not the fake story. Anything will come out of my mouth, any story I'm doing, any scene I'm going to, it's 100% real. Because I don't have no time for the fakeness. I don't like fake people. Just so let me just explain something to you. Eric, I'm in you're fake as fuck. You sit down in front of my face and I laugh and I talk. But, oh, I love you so much. I was praying for you. And when you was dying, bitch, when, you, when I was dying and Safari was crying, you was acting ballistic in the house. Why are you crying for this bitch? Why are you crying for her? You wasn't crying for me. Like, what's the comparison? Whatever you have going on in your house, now have nothing to do with me, Erica. Whatever Safari is doing to you, you don't have nothing to do with me. So why you compare yourself? What's this jealousy over me? What's this jealousy over Safari like me? Me and him are just friends. Me not fucking baby. Baby, I promise you 100% and a million dollars. Me love looking me not gone to bed. Me not fuck Safari. Me not fucking baby. You have to get it in your head. Because you you're, 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 you're play victim. Everywhere you go, you are screamed on the place. I invited you to my gala and I invited you to, in a Miami. You come. Hi, baby. So, I don't even remember which part of me Erica, you're fake as fuck. You could sit down and have a conversation with me. You know why? Because you know, say, I'm not the one, two, nor the three. I'm going to look on you and I can do it and tell you in front of your face. I'm not fake like you. All of the shit that you do behind my back, I heard. I hear about it. Them come back to me and them tell me. Me know say you're fake. So when me see you, you're oh, spice, I love you so much. I'm just high and cut and go through. It's for a reason. It's because me know say you're fake. Me, me hear all of the shit where you, where you talk about me. You come on my gala, like, you scream down the place and talk about safari and ray, ray, ray. Oh my God. And you have safari divorced one year now. And you're still a fuck him, and that's the problem. And because I tell you, say, you're still a fuck safari. Because you have to tell me, say, oh, me, 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 me talk about this faggot. Oh, I'm become fuck up up to last month. I'm still a fuck you. Yeah, and I'm still a fuck. So what the problem? I don't understand. You vex with me because me Amara, a friend, and because I go to Miami and me talk to Amara. Amara was my friend before she got there with Safari. Amara was my friend before she and Safari start dates. It not have nothing to do with me, baby. Me not have no control over Safari dick. So you have me up and you eat me because me and Amara was friend. But remember you and Nikki baby was friend and you got fuck Safari when you and Nikki baby was friend and he was with Nikki baby. Remember you and Estalita was friend and you know say Estalita and Safari did a fuck and you still go fuck him same way and then you run down the aisle. So you feel like so when you did the married him and you got changed. Now you're balling and scream down the place and I talk about, oh my God, um, you know I'm a single mother. I'm a single mother too. And guess what, baby? I've been doing it for 14 years. So me and you talk and you couldn't talk to me because me ask you where's your son you scream down the place for this for two children you need to have the energy for this tree a tree you have so you're vexed because me say yes, your, your, your oldest son not like you because you drop him off from him at five and i know you're not go back and pick him up bitch let me tell you something don't play with me i'm not the one two nor the three Erica, you start at something with the wrong person. My people, they can't tell you. Me tell myself, say me now go back to my old life. I'm old self, but you are gonna make me go back to my old life. I'm an old self because I get a new life. I'm gonna tell myself, say I will never be like this again. But uh, you make me go back to my old life because you see, one thing with me, me no know if it done, you know. Me no know if it done. You start up something where you're gonna regret, say you start it up, you know. Because guess what? You see, when we're going to the scene earlier and you flip over the table, you flip it over because you never want me to talk because you try to silence me because you know, say, oh, to everybody for love and if I franchise me, I one of them, I don't hold my mouth. Me go talk the truth and me go speak the facts to your face. Me not have to steal like you and do it behind my back because that's what you do you talk shit about me behind my back and when you see me in my face you want to laugh and act like say me and your friend bitch you're fake as fuck get the fuck out of here bitch i'm gonna tell you the truth to your face i'm gonna care because i'm not look nothing from you i'm gonna look nothing from love and hip hop me's a real fucking artist outside of the show on camera and off camera so I don't want people to say I'm picking up for Safari because it has nothing to do with me picking up for Safari. I am just speaking facts to the face, something where some people can't do, and that cause the fiction, and that's the problem because some girl fake and them don't want me to tell them the truth to them face. Erica, go look for your gynecologist. Go look for your gynecologist. Infection and numb you out. Your pussy is full of syphilis. You have lymphogranuloma vulgaris. Girl, don't play with me. Go get some canistin.
Don't play with me, Erica. I'm not stay on this too long either. I just want to talk my mind and tell Erica, say, remember me tell you, every time I see you, you better be prepared for flip over the table because me is not the one to play with. I'm mean, not a fake story and I'm mean, not a fakeness. Everything about me is 100% real. 100%. And you're going you to do this forget storyline, but remember me tell you, say, the wrong story you pick up, baby. And the wrong story you want. You never want that story, yeah. You should have never pick up that story. Yeah. You see Bambi of the season? This season, leave her with it. Don't try flipping the script. You hear me I tell you? Better leave her with it and call it a day. Because you need some canisting. I don't know where you come act like say. But this not have nothing to do with me. I don't care about... My before business boy safari. Me no care about what you want him have going on or what you go through. And me don't want nobody come say, I pick me, I pick up the safari. No, me have my own issues and my own problem. Me nearly dead. Me still have my issues and my problem I deal with. You walk and play victim here in the scene, you ball out. Me, me a single mother, bitch, I'm one too. I am one too. 14 years. And guess what? I pick up myself and do what I have to do. And you have to do the same. And that me, that me, that me, that me, that me, that me, you know. Erica, pick, pick your pussy up off of the ground. Catch a break. Let me breathe. Jesus Christ. Ooh. Erica, pick up your pussy off of the ground and keep it moving. It's not the end of the road, baby. It's not the end of life. We all, people married and them get divorced. People do relationship, them break up. Me break up with my relationship. I'm in and dead. I'm breathing. Look at me. I'm alive. It's okay. You can get over it. It's fine. People divorce all the time. What the fuck you up here, victim? And I act like you want me to take it up on my head. Bitch, me not take it up on my head. Safari, I fuck Amara. Or them there with Amara. Or me not know him want Amara. Not my problem. What does that have to do with me? What does that have to do with me? Your vex are come talk about. Don't talk about my son. Don't talk about my son. Yes, we're going to talk about it. Since you say you're a single mother, me I tell you, say, me a single mother for 14 years. And you're going to say, oh, but I'm a single mother for how much years? I don't know how old your son is. So I say, where is he? Because I'm not like you. Where your son? Where your oldest son? Because you act like a two kids. You have the same energy where you have for your two kids. You need to have the same energy for three. So we are asking you the question and we wait for the answer. Where is your oldest son? Why you not have the same energy for your third child? What? Mm? That may I ask you, you come talk. Like, say, you think my free to tell it to your face. So, what happened to you? Bitch, you think my free that you? I'm not a blood clot storyline. I'm not a fake story. So, it's on for me. So, I still want to talk to you. Come turn over blood clot table. Because you want to have a one up. You want to have storyline. You want to feel like you're big. Bitch. Oi, go. Oi, go. You can't talk in my face. Come talk in my face. Let me hear what your office say. Talk in my face. Can't have no secret about me. And if you want a gynecologist number, you can get it. Since as you come like your age, can it still sell, can it still sell over the counter? Fuck wrong with you. You come talk. The whole of women left with. Everybody, people get born all the time. Wake up and taste the blood clot coffee. It's not the end of the day. You walk a ball down the place and come on my fucking gala ball and I scream in the hallway and I come talk about safari like every day somebody want to talk about safari. Every day for safari, this safari, this I don't give a fuck about safari dick. When you did a fuck your friend man, you never did a think about him dick. Bitch, fucking play with me. Calm down in the people them airports. So when you stop talking about me, I pick up for safari because it's not about picking up for safari. It's about speaking facts and call a spade a spade and talking the truth the same way all me see it. I'm done talk my truth already, bitch. You're not the you're not the first woman. You're not gonna be the last, bitch. And I can tell you to your face and I ask you and I say, where your oldest son there? Where him there? Where him there? And that me ask you, where him there? Hi. All right. you, I love you. We love you. Yeah. So nobody feel like I'm afraid of you, bitch. You have to talk to me in my face. You flip over the table and blood clad because you know say security the pan set. You feel like security gonna guard you for the rest of your life? What you feel like say? You have to flip over the table for the rest of your life, bitch, because anyone me say you better get ready for flip table. You come talk, boy. You feel like I'm do fakeness, I'm do fake story. A real story me deal with. And this I'm a real life. So if you feel like say this is for TV, this is not for TV. My body in a real life, I'm going to kick up your blood clot and want me to see a bitch. Spice wanted all the spicy smoke. <laughs> she should not. What she say? Pick your pussy up off the ground and keep yeah. it moving? <laughs> Pick your pussy up off the floor. Now, she was going in. And then did you peep where she said uh, that Erica went back and was is still sleeping with Safari? 
Oh my God. You know, yeah. I, I will say now I, I got the gist of what she was saying. Yeah, I, I definitely did. understood this this part of her patois a lot better than usual. Yeah, I didn't what what is it called? Patois. Patois? Mm hmm Okay, well and patois and then also uh English. I got the gist in both both languages she was like fuck you erica you ain't shit and i want all the smoke because she was dragging her honey <laughs> and boast <laughs> she went in and she was talking about she got it syphilis and oh my gosh Ooh. oh my Ooh. gosh yeah she was saying a lot of stuff she was definitely yeah. dragging her coochie yeah she said a lot she said she don't care then I, it sounded like she said something about you know um erica may have fucked a friend her friend's man so that's her karma but i did catch the part about bambi so the bambi has nothing to do with the with the deer in the forest she said that this is bambi's storyline meaning it's bambi season because you know bambi's going through that divorce with a little scrappy in them oh okay all and right daughter, well, i guess i can't use that saying yeah <laughs> erica dixon and mama d they're like you know they were beefing on social media a few weeks yeah, ago yeah so i remember I that that was wild meant that this is Bambi season, meaning that, you know, the storyline is more about Bambi this season. And it seemed like Erica was trying to call herself being a part of the storyline. Um, but then she was yelling about, you know, where's your oldest son? You only worried about the last two because Erica does have an older child. But I know that her older child, though, um, he does not like to be on social media. He does not like to be filmed. So yeah. Will... And, and that's one thing, you know, I think that's a good point to make, which I, I will say, um, obviously, I'm not a celebrity. I don't know. But not I do get it. Not everybody wants to be on TV. Not everybody wants to be on social media like that. Not everybody wants to be seen. So I do feel bad for some of these parents that, you know, are kind of in the limelight that have kids that are more shy. Just because you don't see them with them doesn't mean that they're necessarily doesn't, you know, that they're neglected or they don't love them just as much. Like you said, he just might not want to be out there like that. So I get that. Yeah. And let's not act like, you know, she's known for like her stellar work in A-list movies. She's right. She's literally a, a loving hip hop storyline every other year. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you know, and he's older now, too. I believe he's like in maybe 16, 17. Oh Most yeah, then don't for sure. Be attached to that, you know, yeah. the little babies they don't know any better, but the older teens they don't want to be attached to that. Yeah, and wasn't Erica and Spice like friends? That's probably when she was saying, yeah, "I know all your dirty secrets." Friends. They was friends, yeah. wasn't they? And that's kind of you. Now, one thing I will say is that you know, if, if somebody's your friend and y'all fall off, those secrets go to the grave. I don't like exactly. when people are friends and then all of a sudden you want to put all my business out there because you weren't worried about my syphilis pussy when we were friends. I'm yeah, just, that wasn't a problem. <laughs> that wasn't a problem. So it wasn't dragging the know. ground then. Yeah, I think that's kind of dirty a little bit when you call somebody your friend and then now you're putting out all their business. But like I said, Erica must have done something to really piss Spice off because Spice don't be, you know, she usually goes hard for her friends. So she's right. going off. You know, something happened at that taping, honey. I think that she, because usually I've noticed people that go real hard for their friends because I remember... Um, like Spice was fighting bitches for Erica. Like she wasn't playing. Who was it? Brittany? And Brittany is mm -hmm. a, a tall girl, you know? And she mm -hmm. was, uh, was it Brittany? I think it was her. Just Brittany or something. But anyway, <clears throat> she was about to whoop her ass for Erica. So um, a lot of times when people go real, real hard for their friends and then they end up like getting portrayed, that's, that's probably why she's going so hard. I bet Erica did some snake shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's just a lot. And... I do agree with her, though, when she says, you know, your life does not end just because you break up or you divorce somebody. You know, you mm -hmm. got to pick up the pieces and move on. Like Spice said, she's been a single mother for 14 years. You pick up, you move on, you know, and try and find love again. And if it's meant to be, it will be. But Safari's going to keep doing Safari. You know, he's been doing that. So her getting mad and talking about Safari every day or calling people concerning Safari and Amara and La Negra, I can see how that can get on their friends' nerves. Yeah, and she's steadily, she's been harping on Safari for a long time, and there's been red flags after red flags after red flags, and at this point, it's like, okay, girl, and then you're still fucking them, so yeah, no, I'm I'm kind of over it, too. This is Love and Hip Hop Atlanta, right? Yeah, Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. Okay, because yeah. I was, I know what that uh, Amara was on Miami, right? Do they even still yep. do Miami? Okay. So, yeah, yeah they still one. do Miami, but I'm sure she'll be 
on Atlanta because Safari's on Atlanta. I mean, okay. at this point, they just go from city to city. So yeah, that's why I was double checking because I'm like, okay, I know there's some people from New York. I know there's some people from Atlanta. I know there's some people from Miami. So you know, but yeah, you're right. They just go some people because uh, Safari started out in uh, L.A., didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He done hopped to every damn franchise, like every city. Mm hmm. Well, hell, exactly. Eric did too. They all have which is like just the most interesting thing, but mm -hmm. we'll see how this plays out. I'm here for it. Hopefully while I'm in Atlanta, I can get some extra tea. Yeah, you know, some piping hot tea. <laughs> yeah, I might have to hit up Spice. Like what in the world is going on, girl? So yes. we'll see, we'll see. But okay. anyway, let's go ahead and segue into the next story. Um, we definitely have to hit on this Da Morant situation, the basketball player for the Grizzlies. Yo, what's up? Baby, let's Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.